Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP, Rob Theory. Um, you know, I, I'm sure everybody saw this. I'm not going to play it 100 million times over again. So what we know so far, obviously, is that uh, I think a bystander or, or one of the people uh, that were attending the, uh, you know, the rally was uh, shot and killed. I think someone else may have been shot or maybe a few other people may have been shot as well or hurt during the process. We know that we don't know the state or the condition of Trump unless somebody else has an update. But we know it looks it appears as if he was hit in the air because he saw his hand go up his left hand and touch his ear. But the implications of this is what I want to get into, guys. What are the potential implications of this and who could be behind this, really? You know, um, they said it was uh, an Asian gentleman, which is interesting. Um, you know, so it's funny. They were quick to put out on the media that it was an Asian man. And when a black man does something, you never know if it's a black man or not. It's funny. You know, uh, I always find that kind of odd. Very strange. Uh, but look, the good thing is that we know what's going on here somewhat. We know who was involved, this type of thing. It's probably a lot deeper than what we're seeing. I still believe that that uh, in order to start a race war or a civil right, uh, civil war, uh, these type of things are the easiest ways to... Uh, I guess rally the people in the wrong way to be honest you know um, I saw a lot of videos a lot of people talking about it more that they're in shock and surprise and that kind of thing and uh, you know if you if you think about it we're living in a time now does anything really shock or surprise you I remember seeing the uh, John F Kennedy uh, assassination as a young man in high school yeah that was pretty scary I remember seeing that and watching it um, that really you saw the reaction of the people everybody kind of uh, ducked down and jumped you know and it was so strange how not a lot of the people moved out of the way they all kind of just sat there looking without moving so when you look at the old other other times where people have used guns and shot somewhere people scatter so a lot of the people just stayed in the same place and that really confuses me i'm like why was everybody kind of there and also the secret service agents looked very strange to me i, I don't know if anybody else saw that it didn't look as if uh there was a real panic, you know, uh, and I'm not claiming anything here. I'm just saying that it's interesting to look at these things. If you've seen other videos of other uh, political attempts or assassinations and things like that, there's a lot more duress and, and a lot more uh, things going on, you know, uh, a lot more havoc happening, a lot more, um, you know, fight or flight in the people's, uh, you know, um, in, in the way they react to everything, their reactions. If you look at that, uh, it just lacked something there, and I don't know what it was. I'm not saying that it was staged uh, or, or anything like that, but it just didn't. Something just didn't seem real about it to me, guys. Look, I'm not. I should have said at the beginning of this, which I'll probably have to edit this and put it in there at the beginning, is that first of all, regardless if you disagree with someone on a political level or whatever it may be, in any case. There's no need ever to go to a violent measure like whoever this person was or whoever the people are that, that made this happen. You know, this is the thing about America is that I get it. There are a lot of people that hate Trump. Um, there are a lot of people that hate Biden. There's a lot of people that hate people. But in America, we have something called the First Amendment. And I think that we should really practice that and be allowed to speak whatever we want, whatever we feel like saying, the freedom of speech, right? When that's taken away from us and it's being forced upon us to not say certain things when they use violent force, and violent force also is censorship. That's violent. Uh, they take away your ability also online to make money. That's violent. You're killing people. It's like sanctioning a country and taking away the ability for them to get food. That's killing. It's violent. Uh, it's a slow, torturous violence. So I think this whole country is uh, in a state of, of uh, upset and imbalance. Um, I'll speak from a spiritual point of view. The United States chakras are misaligned. The United States needs a good chakra tuning 
Okay. <laughs> but I don't mean to be funny about that, but it does. It really does. It needs a good shocker tuning. Everybody, you know, the, the internet, I love it, but at the same time, I hate it. Why? Because, you know, back in the day when you used propaganda, it would take a while. You know, you'd have to wait a year for people to get really, you know, behind something or take a while. Now it's instantaneous, man. Whatever, whoever is in control of the algorithms, whatever uh, direction they want that to move in, guess what, guys? They can do it in a second. That's like starting a tsunami within seconds. How do you react to a tsunami? Okay. We don't have time to react. We just run and try to run for the hills. Okay. When you have a social media tsunami that hits you, all these people at once, you know, there's there's no uh, way to dodge that. You know, uh, we get hit with it really on a... Uh, you know, a uh, cerebral uh, level, you know, neurosynaptic impulses happen and you either get a dopamine or a serotonin effect, right? A good or a bad effect. Now, they know that. They know they can control and manipulate the way we feel about things. Guys, if you don't know who I am, I'm the one that wrote before the two CEOs came out and before they... Uh, did anything uh about the like button and the dopamine effect i was doing my second degree in that area on chemical addiction an advanced degree and i started studying more about the brain and the neurosynaptic impulses and you know the different chemicals that are produced in the brain and why they're produced and that's when i wrote uh about the like button and dopamine you know and uh you can read it on facebook it's just sad that uh you know, certain people don't get uh, the severity of what's, you know, what's really gone on. You know, I think that that's something that uh, that people uh, just don't understand, man. You know, this is real stuff happening here, guys. You know, uh, if I can move this up here, I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm going to put it up for you guys to see if, if, if I can get it there. Hold on. So if you don't know who I am, this is it right here on November 23rd, 2016. Like I said, as I was doing my second degree in chemical substance abuse, I wrote this dopamine addiction Facebook by Rob Shiva. That was the name I was going by at the time, which is now Rob Theory. Facebook is a way for human beings to be subjugated by the need for approval. The like button, my friends, has become like Pavlov's, Pavlov's dog for our consciousness. When we like something, or if someone likes what we have posted, it creates a feeling of being accepted and winning, just like any other drug that gets you addicted. That's right. We're all addicted to getting approval and being encouraged and rewarded for it. There's a sinister underlying force behind this, and we have to stop and realize that it is another form of segregation. Facebook is using our need for approval to keep us segregated and ingenious but devious scheme that is causing a collective breakdown of society. Trump, Obama, and whoever else is not to blame, but we must take responsibility that we are the current of the ocean. I wrote this in 2016. Two years later, two of the CEOs from Facebook came out, almost used my words word for word i must have made some splash somewhere this was taking off and then it came to a dead halt shortly after that i was censored all across social media so i know what i did meant something because facebook came out to the world and admitted to the world exactly what i wrote but they took credit for it as well like they actually cared now this is why i believe i keep getting censored is because of things like this that i do and uh, i'm not saying that i'm anyone special but I am saying that I have an ability sometimes to be able to understand things on a certain level. This is the reason at the age of 54, I'm putting myself through physics. <laughs> and I'm doing that because I love physics, first of all. But it helps you to think in a much better uh, way where you can really solve problems. I'm a problem solver at heart. Um, you know, and, and I, I wish I had the opportunity when I was younger to pursue this a lot more. But there's a lot of things out there that I don't get to talk about because they censor me so much. You guys don't even get to hear anything that I have to say because they just don't put it in the algorithms. Like I said, I have uh, photographs, of, if, if I can find them, of being censored worldwide, you know. 
and I'll show you that stuff. Guys, this should be something to you. That's why they don't want you to know that I can understand certain things and do them. But I think that uh, over time, some people out there are going to see what I'm about and pave a way for me. And uh, I do predict the reason I told you all that is because everything that's going on now from the time of BLM, Black Lives Matter, uh, to all the symbolic uh, references of that moment leading up to this moment here, uh, the hatred, I don't want to use the word vitriol, you know, I'm just kidding, guys. But, you know, the hatred here and, and just the, you know, all these allegations made against Trump. Certain people, I'm going to be frank about this, you know, because this is how I really feel. And I don't want to hide this. When you have, because everybody has something against someone, right? Everybody's pointing the finger at this person, pointing the finger at that person. But, you know, it's weird that we live in a time where prostitutes, you know, women that sell their pussies for money i'm just gonna say it the way it is you know vagina i guess they sell their vagina for money they sell sexual favors for money okay uh have the ability now to come up against a man who has paved his own way in his life didn't have to sell anything on his body to get where he where he was at but they can come and ruin anybody's life you know uh you know, we live in a time where people with no morality are talking about morality. Makes no fucking sense if you ask me, okay? Uh, you know, I, I like I said, I say things like this, and people, if you heard it, you would understand it. I know you would. But they're going to keep doing There's a reason they do, they're doing this to me. If I told you, if you watch my other videos, and it all stemmed from, from uh, after 9-11, and it's put me right into the cross here is of some very bad people i know that and thank god i'm here today to be able to talk but look we have to uh address what's really going on here is the violent reactions that they have that has to come to an end violence is never going to be an answer to anything guys it really doesn't i don't care who you are but violence is never an answer here if you're saving someone's life yes in that case yes um but in trying to make a point in a debate or a rally or if you have a difference of opinion there's no need for for violence you know we should have come a long ways uh uh through history and evolution anthropologically in society in, in communication we should have come a very long ways by now but it appears that that we haven't really gotten that far because we still resort to violence and uh that's really my main thing here is that, like I said, we should be able to speak in America freely about what we what we want. I don't see the the uh, the relevance of having to. Um, you know, constantly be in fear, you know, I'm a comedian, right? I sometimes have a little fear inside me if I by accident go on to a topic that involves politics. Racism. Things that we should be talking about even religion i don't believe that you should stray away from these things i think the more that you get into these topics the better it will be you'll come out with some idea a cer some common uh ground you know but you have to get into that conversation we've been taught that not talking about these things is the best way to go just don't deal with it but that's the that's strategic when they tell you that because if you don't deal with it it keeps growing like anything else you know guys I'm going to make another video soon, but I hope if you really enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to build my audience because as, w as well as what I told you before, since I've, since I've ri written that uh, dopamine effect uh, post and other things that have happened to me, they've blocked me financially on every single level you can think of. Um, I had a KDP account with books. They gave me no explanation. I can show you guys the email. And they just canceled everything. And I wasn't really making anything. I'm living off of uh, disability, really. I've been that way since 2009. And I have working on my fourth degree. And they don't let, they, they 
always make sure that I can't work. That's the bottom line. That's also, like I said, a form of violence. But this is not what America should be. You know, you know, we're starting to look worse than third world countries. That should tell you guys something. Whatever they're doing now isn't working. It's not helping anyone. You know, if America were to be great ever, we would change the way we treat people. And I'm going to say it again like I said it before. That goes back to the golden rule. That was by Christ. Treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm just a big fan of that rule, you know. And uh, he was a great person, you know, a great guy. You know, I don't know uh, anything. Uh, I don't want to say anything else much more about that. But I understand his views. I think he was a spiritual physicist. He was able to break things down in such a way that you would, uh, you would, it would make sense to the moment and snap you out of whatever stupidity or ignorance that you were in. You know, so look, after everything is said and done, in the end, we're all here for a short period of time. Does it not make sense that we all try to understand each other in some way and not come to the end result as violence, but come to an understanding instead? That's all I'm saying, guys. I'm Rav Theory, and uh, I'm Rav Theory, and I'm very uh, happy to be able to try and solve these problems with you i hope that uh that you guys enjoy what i do i'm also known as the spiritual philanthropist um and uh i'll be doing a lot more videos guys i'm going to try to but right now i'm having a hard time physically as well as you can see the scar on my neck here i don't know if you can see it but my neck was broken and i had to get reconstructive surgery and i've been suffering like crazy but uh that's another thing that's keeping me from doing any kind of work as well but Again, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you like what I do. And I promise you, I'm going to bring you some really great stuff. And I'm going to help try to solve these problems. It doesn't take a, a, you know, a politician to do it. Sometimes it might take a spiritual person like myself or any one of you. All right, guys, have a great night. See you in the next video.